Hi everyone, it's Lara here at All Points North Lodge for your weekend yoga break. I thought I'd change up the scenery a little bit and take you outside. This is one of my favorite spots at the lodge. Absolutely stunning views here. One of the oh, I paused for a second. I think I'm back. So I was saying this is just one of the most perfect places for yoga. Um, I love to do groups up here too. Um, let's get started with some movement. So I hope you can hear me. I hope it's not too windy outside. Um, I want you to start off just sitting. If you can sit with your legs crossed or whatever shape is comfortable to you and just start to move your spine a little bit. Forward, back, side to side, maybe around in circles. And as you do this, start to breathe. So every movement is connected with a breath. And just starting to kind of warm up your spine. You can twist if you like. Again, breathe, don't forget. And the most important part is just to get curious about it. If your shoulders are tight, roll your shoulders up and down, maybe back and forward. I like to do one at a time. And then we're gonna get into the hips a little bit today. So you're gonna take your legs out in front of you. You're gonna start with the right leg and you're gonna cross it on top. Sorry if my feet are dirty, I've been walking barefoot out here. <laughs> so the closer you get towards this foot that's on the ground, the more of a stretch it's gonna be in the outside of your hip and your hands are supporting behind you. And if you need less intensity, scoot a little farther away from this foot. So working with however your body has chosen to show up today and you breathe. And then you can stay perfectly still or you can just start to rock side to side. I love to add just a little bit of movement into these shapes, um, getting curious about it, just noticing how the subtle changes can make the biggest of impacts. If you really wanna get wild with this, one of my favorites is to take your hand and thread your fingers between your toes. Hopefully, maybe your feet are cleaner than mine since I've been walking barefoot out here. This is great for stretching out your feet, the foundation of your body. If you have your fingers between your toes, you can really indulge here and use your thumb to massage out the arch of your foot. You can just roll your ankle around in circles. And then from here, you're gonna take your arms and you're gonna wrap them around this leg that's crossed over. So you want your foot to be right above your elbow crease and you're gonna hug it in towards your chest. This one's called Rock the Baby. Very ancient name, I'm sure. And you're just gonna like the name states, you're gonna rock your leg. Oh, I don't know if a butterfly just got in the way of the camera. <laughs> gonna rock your leg from side to side and you want to keep this foot flexed. So you wanna really avoid sickling your foot so that's why the foot is above the elbow crease. I'm trying to sit up nice and tall. And then my favorite part of this pose, you're gonna take the right hand down and just roll over onto the hip a little bit. Sometimes this takes a while, sometimes it doesn't. You're gonna find that sweet spot in the outer hip. So the spot is, I like to say, the spot that's most interesting to you. And then once you find that, you're gonna point and flex this straight leg, just rocking it out. And of course, as you do so, you're breathing. If you wanna get really intense with this, you can use a tennis ball on the outside of your hip or any sort of therapy ball. You can roll around and keep rocking. Just move it out. And take one more breath in. And let it go. And then gently release your leg. You never wanna slingshot your legs. So you're gonna release it and then shake it out and we'll switch sides. So the right foot is down and the left ankle is crossed above the knee. Your foot is flexed. You can scoot closer towards the foot that's on the ground or farther away, just whatever you're feeling today. If you wanna get really crazy with it, thread your fingers between your toes. <laughs> we often don't think to work out or stretch our feet. However, I think of the feet as one of the most important parts of your body, the foundation. So we really wanna take extra care of our feet. I feel like the majority of us suffer from foot pain, knee pain, low back pain. It can all start in the feet. And so breathe as you do this. You can indulge massaging out your foot, rolling around your ankle, 
or maybe just having your finger between fingers between your toes is enough. And so starting to just gently open up this hip. And then we're gonna move in towards rocking the baby. So you hug your leg. Remember the foot is right above your elbow crease. And you're just gonna you can grab a hold of your arms. Your arms can be on your legs. And just rock from side to side. Maybe forward, back, whatever feels good. Again, this is your body, your practice. Do whatever feels best to you. There's no right or wrong unless you are creating an immense amount of pain in your body, then you're probably doing something wrong. So being aware of the sensations that are coming up for you. And then the left hand can come out to the side and roll over onto the hip. Ooh, find that sweet spot and just stay there. Roll it out or my favorite, I don't know if you can see my foot right now. Just point and flex your foot of the straight leg. So that will help kind of rock it out. Again, if you're feeling really wild, go grab a tennis ball, come back and do this later. Put the tennis ball underneath your hip. And just breathe into it. And take one more breath in. Let it go. And then gently release and shake it out. So we're gonna do one more thing. This is one of my favorites. I do this almost every morning. So you're gonna come up onto your knees and then we'll start on the right leg. So take your right leg out. You want to be a squared off lunge. So about 90 degrees in both legs. Your feet are pressing down the legs are drawing in. So everything is drawing towards the center line of your body. Your tailbone is lengthening down. You're gonna keep the feet pressing down and you're just gonna shift forward and back, helping to just gently warm up the hips. If you're an athlete, if you've played sports, this is probably a familiar shape to you, a familiar movement. And then you wanna breathe. So opening up the hip, opening up maybe into the quad, depending on how tight you are. You can do slow, you can do quick whatever you're feeling in your body today. And then gently step the right foot back and take the left leg out. So again, everything pressing down, drawing in, tailbone is lengthening down, feet press down and you just shift forward. And our bodies are not symmetrical, so you might notice a difference between the right and left. If you wanna go a little deeper on one side than the other, that's fine. You choose your body. Standing up nice and tall, keeping nice long ribs. I've got a nice bug crawling on me. The joys of doing this outside. Take one more breath in. And let it go. And then gently come out of this pose. And come back onto your seat. I think I lost connection again. I think we're back. <laughs> so that's what I have for you today. Um, again, you can do this in bed if that's what it takes. Just do something today to move your body, to take care of yourself, get outside if you can. Thank you for joining me live from Edwards, Colorado at All Points North Lodge. Namaste. Be kind to each other and take good care of yourself. I'll give you one last glimpse of this beautiful view too because I know I can't get enough of it. I also am not very tech savvy. I don't know how to turn it around. Oh wait. There we go. Here we are from our observation deck at All Points North Lodge.